Hi, you know? I was with some friends talking and laughing about different things, but one of them decided to ask me what I plan to do with the current situation, you know, about the economy. I answered that I was doing what I could, and God would take care of the rest. Then he asked me if I believed that I had a lamp from which a genie would come out to fix everything for me, if I really believed that that was God. My other friend immediately jumped in to saying that God only gives us enough to fill our needs, that he isn't there like the genie. To fulfill all our wants, he's simply fulfilling our needs nor our desires. Then I laughed because, you know? As some folks say, they're right, but they still go to jail. Let me tell you something. Having faith is more than believing that God is like the genie in the lamp, it's true. It ain't about believing that you ask for anything and it just happens, because with the genie in the lamp something always happens that you don't expect and he ends up fooling you. You end up thinking that you were better off because, it hurts you even more. Having faith is trusting that God, the creator of the universe, that universe to which some are free to believe that they can also ask things from. God knows much more than you and I faith is having confidence that what we ask him for, from the heart, will be given, or something much better because God, in his infinite wisdom and love for us, he will never give us something that could harm us. He always wants the best for us, because we are his children. Yes, God gives us what we need, but if we establish a relationship with him, we talk to him from the heart and we are sincere and humble with what we desire, he'll want us to fulfill those dreams we have but he also wants for us much more. We must believe that it is so, it's of no use that God wants to fulfill our dreams, those in which we want to make our loved ones or others very healthy, wealthy, or simply speaking, very happy, if we decide to close ourselves to the possibility. How can we limit the Almighty, who loves us so tremendously much that he sent his Son to save us all, just because we want to believe that God only gives what is essential to not die of hunger? No. God is our Heavenly Father, He loves us deeply, He wants the very best for us. We must come to Him with a clean heart to talk to Him and be ready to listen too. So, if what we ask for is in accordance with His holy will, in perfect harmony with everyone involved, then be sure that you will have it. Yes, it can also happen that it isn't the correct time, or that you must be prepared in ways you don't yet understand and therefore, you think you are. But that doesn't mean that God doesn't want to bear gifts, spiritual and physical ones, because we are spiritual beings living in a physical world. We must maintain faith and trust that God knows much more. And let me tell you, all of that is much better than asking the genie of any lamp or the bag of rocks and cosmic dust which we call the universe. Because there's a truth you can be sure about, God does want our greatest well-being, because he loves us. He is our beloved Heavenly Father. As they say, if the baby doesn't cry, the mother won't give it to him, so, with confidence and certainty, ask him and he will give you. May God bless you tremendously, and make you witness his infinite love for you, and may your life become a testimony of his glory. Amen.